From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Happy Friday, I'm Caitlin Patuchak here with your Friday evening CNET forecast. If we take a live look at Beaver Stadium, we'll notice fairly pleasant conditions across Happy Valley, and this is the case for much of the Commonwealth. We do have our tailgate tents out there right now. We are playing UMass tomorrow, but conditions are not expected to be just as pleasant as they are today. I'll have more details on that in the forecast in just a little bit. We'll notice that we're sitting in the high 50s right now, making for very pleasant conditions, and if you are going to get outside this weekend, tonight is the night to do it. We'll only get up to about 59 degrees at our, for our high temperature today, but things will drop off into the high 40s as we head into the overnight hours. So like I said, if you just bring a light jacket or a sweatshirt, tonight is the night for those outdoor activities. We can take a look at exactly what's impacting us this weekend by looking at our radar and satellite. Let's bring that out to the entire nation so we can really see what's going on. We'll see a low pressure system that's spinning up over the Midwest, and that's going to be pushing its way into the region as we head into those overnight hours tonight and into tomorrow morning. We can take a look at how that's going to impact our temperatures and our precipitation heading into tomorrow. Temperatures will drop off overnight with that diurnal cooling. However, we will see some steady rain showers pushing into the region as we head into our tailgate time tomorrow. And in about an hour after kickoff, a half hour after kickoff, those rain showers are expected to continue. However, later on in the game, they'll dissipate just a bit. We'll see some spotty rain showers throughout the rest of the evening but everything should clear out heading into early in the day on Sunday. It might remain overcast, but we'll keep an eye on that in our forecasts. If we look at our precipitation totals, we'll notice that the bullseye is pretty much in State College and extending throughout um, the Appalachian Mountains and down into southwestern Pennsylvania. So that's where we'll see our highest precipitation totals. We can take a look at this system as it's going to move its way offshore um, heading into the overnight hours Sunday night and heading into Monday. We'll see some clouds streaming in um, behind that system and there's a new low that will form off of the Atlantic. I'm standing right in front of it actually right now. I can give you a better look at that new low that's going to form off the Atlantic um, and that'll bring some clouds in behind it as well. They'll stick around into the beginning of the week next week but overall it'll be a rather mild week in comparison to this weekend. We can take a look at our conditions this evening. We'll see we're going to drop down to about 44 degrees this evening. Rain showers will be making their way into the region overnight tonight. And for our game tomorrow, like I said, it's going to be a bit of a mushy mess if you're walking around in any of those unpaved lots tomorrow or if you're going on a hike, not even at the game, um, all across the entire Commonwealth. It's going to be a little bit of a mess outside. Um, steady rain heading into the game. However, rain should taper off by the end of the game. Rain showers may linger into the overnight hours tomorrow night as well. Look at our seven day. That rain is going to continue throughout um, the weekend and into the beginning of the week. However, but we'll see some clearing and a little bit more sunshine heading into later on next week. We'll have a more updated forecast for you on Monday. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service and for CNET, I'm Caitlin Patuchek. Have a great night.